I'm Alice Fitzwarren, who's a little bit of a minx. Not a lot of people know Dick Whittington, so it's it's a it's a weird one actually this year because you ask the kids who are coming to see, you go, do you know what it's about? And the kids are like, no. But that's a good thing because they'll all be watching like, oh, wow. Well, they never get seen to watch before. a real yeah. story. Yeah, there's no real comparison. And I think because we know that a lot of the kids don't know the story, there's loads of extras in this year's panto stuff that's never been done before in a pantomime. Tell us, there's one thing that that's never been done, and mm -hmm. it's a 3D, 4D glasses experience. That's Tell right. us about that. So when the kids come, they get given 3D glasses, and in the second half, uh, Dick Whittington and Alice and all the gang, we all jump on a ship um, to go off and sail and have an adventure the, sh the king rat sinks the ship so we're all yeah sh we're all shipwrecked but at that moment during the show a big screen comes down terry the tail who's a little character who's come right through the whole story with us goes on an adventure underwater now this is where you put your glasses on Brilliant. and a 3d feature film comes on the stage so the kids are like catching starfish Amazing. And, and the waves are coming at you and i mean it's Unbelievable when you look at like when we were little and you used yeah. to get the panto and if you got like a little firework, you were got like, was Mr. T. Well, yeah. The twins from Neighbours. Exactly, you I was in both this. of those. You in both of yeah. them? <laughs> you are like Panto Queen of Liverpool. How yeah. many pantos have you done? Well, I reckon in total, well, I've done like two a year for 25 years. Oh my God. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, that so incredible. loads. I can't think though that you've done more than Pete Price, who we're going to meet in just a second. I don't know, you know. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that. Okay. Upstairs. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, come on. <laughs> Full on deeper. Do not disturb. And we've disturbed. Oh, there he is, there he is, come on in. In action. There he is. Hello. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, Pete Price, how are you? Oh, yes, in the <coughs> dance court. This is the <laughs> right <laughs> goal. You're not in this. Why don't you have a show He's got a video on his phone. I'm terrible at learning dance routines. I'll just put we'll this off. There yeah. we go, there we go. Now, forget the routine. I mean, well, tell me about you, how are you getting on? Where's your bed this year? Because normally you... Well, they've nice lost the bed. bed. They've lost the bed. So where are you going to sleep? I had a bed, and I was so upset because Pamela Anderson, there was two dints in it where Pamela Anderson actually slept. There's huge dints. Anyway, well, I'm going from here up to London Road, and a shop's given me a bed. Because so Leanne has to, Leanne needs a bed as well, because she comes in in the morning. It's double shifts in here, and as soon as I'm in, she's up and out. Whoa, not getting any of you. So, because it's a breakfast show. Yeah. So, on Radio City, uh, every much marvellous. Yes, uh, do you know what? We're literally now like 12 hours. I'm 12 hours into a 20 hour day. So, when people say, oh, Panto, it must be a laugh, it is a laugh. But when well, you're 12 know. hours into yeah. a 20 hour day. Tell me about rehearsals. When do you start? Because I couldn't believe it. It's not It's not as, as long as long rehearsal time as what people think. No. Ask your question to her and then ask it to me. Go on. Okay, so, <laughs> so for me, it's we have two weeks in. So we have a week of learning the dance routines and stuff, a week of running the show, and then we're into the theatre. It's all about the lights, the costumes, and the music, and the band, the full live it's band. It's not a lot when you think of it. How long are you? May. <laughs> so I can't learn lines. Do you know the, the most classic thing? We were working together because I've worked with her since she's a little girl. She's been, I've been her father so many times. <laughs> I've been her brother. I was saying, strange. <laughs> but we did this show at the Royal Court, and honest to this, go away, I'm being interviewed. To this day, I never know why. But I came down as buttons and did the whole speech from a lad in the year before. And to this day, and everyone went, Are you taking it? What, what have I done? We have so, little tricks, don't we, love, yeah. when you go west on me? She's marvellous with she, so she is like a real daughter. Out. What happens? T do me lines. So she takes them off. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll go down now and I'll say. So, Father, weren't you about to ask me, <laughs> did we want to go to the Palace Gardens? You look like you could do with a cup of tea. Shall we go? And then it'll jog his memory and he'll be like, so she's done the yeah. whole script for me, but they're my lines. I'll start working on this show as well, <laughs> boys. Well, they're, they're, my, they're my lines, so she, she, she's marvellous. She's a proper daughter, she's marvellous. She knows she's getting the money when I die. <laughs> but we've had ducats, trinkets, yeah. gold, yeah. and she always gets the man I fancy, which really annoys me. Which she always this gets... year is, is care to Stacey can from, you from Emmerdale. And can you believe, we've just changed the script, as I'm really pleased. They gave me the opening line, 
all this way to London and no sign of Dick. I said, I'm sorry, I am not saying that line. End of story. And is it in? Sorry? No, <laughs> it's line. out. It's out. <laughs> right. it's, okay. it's definitely okay. out. Tell me about Dick Whittington. I must tell us then. It's, it's a story that not a, a lot of people are familiar with. Well, I'm it's delighted to say, first of all, the business is sensational because after the TV advert, and by the way, that was not me in the dress. Somebody came on the radio show last and said, I thought you were very funny in it. I said, yeah. that was not me. It's about 11 stone heavier than That's me. That's Eric Potts, who, by the way, was... I Diggory. didn't realise. Diggory in He was in Coronation Street. Street. Do you remember yeah. what was his name? The Butcher. Diggory. No, who was his mate? that he worked next door to the, was Fred, Elliot. Fred, Fred Elliot. Fred Elliot. It was his mate, his then, mate that rivalry yeah. thing And of course his on. daughter married Tyrone, who was killed when the uh, train came. She doesn't watch it, Dennis. She, she doesn't even know who Rina Sharples is. But no, the thing with Dick Whittington, which is great, the business is fantastic, but it's not a Disney classic. And of course, Disney is all about um, Cinderella uh, and Snow White. This is something new, and the 3D thing is amazing. What is good about this panto is it's a totally different cast, yeah. a very happy cast, but it's tight, it's fast, it moves along, and it is not a long show, which is great, because it should be two hours, 55 mm. on either side, and that's what the kids like. Shorter. Can yeah. we meet Curtis? Can we go and see him? Yeah. Are you leaving me now? I'm leaving you to be here. Go on. You keep doing I, your dance. And, and we'll see you the same time next year. Next year. Right. So we'll go back here. Shut up! Curtis. So Curtis is the prince, is he? Mr. Stacey! Just smells like boys up here, doesn't it? Do you know what? It smells like Limps Africa. Oh, Where's your costume? Curtis, Stacey, good to see you. How are you doing? You. Not bad, not bad. So tell us how's the first time in the Empire Panto. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah, first time. How's it going? Enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. It's um, it's completely different like than usual. Like it's uh, as you can tell, it's like a really big production. Mm. Um, the stage is completely different. Um, got to do flying this year as well, which is um, something new. To okay. be fair, it's very high and big stage. Big and you're singing as well. Yeah, yeah, I've got plenty of songs. So we're going to put you on the spot yeah, now, yeah. Curtis, and, and try and get a tune out of your mate. Oh, no, 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 It does smell like a lad's dressing room in here, doesn't it? We worked together, didn't we, a couple of Easter's ago doing panto, so he's no stranger to to panto. But it is different doing an Empire one to anywhere else. Else, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's completely different. It's like, as in just the rehearsal process, everything's just so on it, you know what I mean? Everything's ready there for you, ready to do. And so, do you guys know all your lines now, word for word? Are they all ready to go? They change sometimes from oh, show really? to show. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got the gist of it. I think a couple of days into rehearsals, I remember Kaz has come up to me and he was like, is this for real? I'm like, I know. He's like, there's like a proper person coming in to teach me how to sword fight. It's just, you know, I usually wow. think there's sword yeah. fighting and that's the end of that. Well, a proper fella come from like Pinewood Studios or something to teach him how to actually fence and it's a full choreographed routine. And it's have you got all that now? Have you nailed it? Well, it's just about. We'll have to wait already. and see. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, no, but I've done a bit of stage combat before and I thought, oh, well, it'll be along those lines or whatever, mm. but it's, it's just not. You know what I mean? Solid. I was thinking, I think oh, it's yeah. Weird, it's, it's solid, yeah. Oh, I was thinking, that's oh, pantomime, we'll have a laugh, it'll be easy. And then next thing, they're coming in, they're going, right, what you want to do is just go up down this, that spin round, wow. do round, run this way, run that way. Amazing. And, so uh, it's worth so coming just to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about Christmas. Do you, do, you, do you feel like you get a Christmas doing pantomime? No. <laughs> Not really, no. It's obviously young and warm. You've, you've got babies as well to, yeah. to look after. How do you do it? I don't know. We moved into the theatre yesterday properly, um, me more so today, and the kids will move in over the weekend. So my two, I've got a little boy who's five, Joseph, and a little girl who's two. They both can't stand theatre. They don't like watching shows. Oh, <laughs> my little boy loves panto. He sits through the panto. He's as mm. done since he was like 10 months old. He loves them. My little girl, I took her to one the other week, and she's just... She's just not there yet. Right. So they'll spend the time in the green room a lot of the time. Joseph will come with a couple of different bunches of mates and he'll, he'll watch with a schoolmate, with his outer schoolmate. So he'll come a few times, he loves it. But um, yeah, they move in, they live in the green room upstairs with me and Amazing. literally just uh, pop up in between scenes. So when Alice Fitzwarden is on the stage, she's upstairs like trying to potty train a two year old and give them the dinner before they go back on and do a song with him. Yeah. So, so it's, it's Alice and Curtis, what's your character? Dick Whittington. Dick Whittington. Yeah. And the title of the show. Yeah. Tell us why people should come. Well, to be honest, this year's got a big 3D sequence, which is completely different. It hasn't been done before, I don't think, um, at the Empire. No, it hasn't um, been done. I think it's been done once down south. But it's it's huge. It's a bit. It's a big deal. Obviously, really expensive to yeah, do. Right. This is one of First Family's biggest sets as well. So, visually, 
it's going to be amazing. I know mm. the story isn't something that kids would usually know, and it's not like a Disney film or anything like that. But um, visually, I think it's going to be through word of mouth. I think if you just come and watch the show, you're not going to miss out. But it's like. not just for kids, though. It's for adults as well, apparently. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of innuendos yeah. and there? stuff. Yeah, Do you know stuff. what I think's nice about this one as well? I've only just thought of it now. You know, you've got Cinderella and Snow White, and obviously the little girls love it mm. that little bit more than the boys or stuff like that. Dick Whittington is a proper, like, the girls will love it because you've got Alex, Alice, who's a bit of a minx, there's a, a fabulous cat, a lovely girl who plays the cat who's like, so it's all acrobats and, as we say, loads of special effects. So there's loads for the girls it's very glamorous mm. but for the boys this year I think Dick Whittington is definitely one where you can go to your little boys it's Dick Whittington he fights King Rat yeah, and this brilliant. that and the other so there's a little bit more for little boys to watch my little boy can't wait okay well I'm coming on Saturday I think so I look forward to that good luck enjoy you're coming open, open the night open the night I think is that press night is it Tuesday gotta sort that out with Tuesday. the oh Tuesday I'm coming I got that wrong good luck enjoy <laughs> I might come Saturday now just to just to see just to get on here. Just to see, see you yeah, get it wrong. Good luck, enjoy it. Break a leg. <laughs> nice one.